keys to prepping in five minutes or less folks here on survival preparedness for beginners and today we're going to be covering some of the things that you may want to make sure that you have in place and try to make sure that you have on hand okay first off we're going to start off with you want to make sure that you have a plan evacuation routes you want to have a plan for all your supplies and everything else in your plan you also want to know what you do have and you want to make sure that you have a plan as far as maybe some recipes and stuff that you can cook with your preps that you have put up in your storage now let's talk about some things that you need to have in your storage first off vegetables canned vegetables you know green beans corns carrots peas spinach asparagus whatever it is that you like to eat vegetable wise make sure that you do have some of that stuff in there if you do have a favorite make sure you have more of that than you do of anything else you want to make sure that you have canned meats all right all different types of canned meats from tuna fish uh chicken turkey meat regular meat beef whatever it may be buy canned meats and this way here you have something to add to your food all right now dry goods let's look at some dry goods here rice now i've done several videos on all different types of rice and all different types of ways to store it and everything else you want to make sure that you are storing all your products in a cool dry place make sure that you are rotating your stock if you do have a pantry and this way here you can always su succeed in what you are doing besides rice you want to make sure that you do have like pastas and oats and sugar flour salt all these different types of condiments and everything else that you're going to need to make sure that you can survive and weather the storm now let's talk a little bit about first aid you want to make sure that you do have a master first aid kit all right this is key because if something was to happen that you have to leave your home you want to have a master kit you can take with you that has everything in it that you're going to possibly need in an emergency type situation you also want to make sure that you do have small emergency packs that you can place into your emergency backpack your go bag your vehicles wherever else it may be so this way here you always have some type of first aid with you at any given time in any given type of situation you want to make sure that you also have a good storage of water now if you do not have the room to store the water and everything else you want to make sure that you have some way to filter the water there are many many different ways that you can filter water and you need to make sure that you find one understand how it works before the situation happens shelter now shelter is your home but if you do have to leave your home do you have some type of shelter to take with you being either tarps tents hammocks any of this type of stuff your basic camping gear all right can be used in any type of an emergency type situation and this way here you have some way to get out of the weather and hopefully stay warm and dry in a disastrous type situation if you have to leave your home next some way to cook all right now if the power and everything does go out you have no power if you have an electric stove which over three quarters of the american population have not a lot of people have gas if you do have gas you are very lucky but if you are on electric like most people are you got to have some way to cook so you want to make sure that you do have some type of a stove to cook on a coleman stove butane stoves whatever it may be you have a barbecue make sure that you have extra propane for your barbecue if you have a flat top make sure you have extra propane for that there are adapters and everything else where you can run a 20 pound tank onto your coleman stoves and stuff like this and this way here you're going to get a lot longer cooking time than what you're already getting now in closing folks what you also want to make sure that you are doing is being prepped and being ready it's all on what you want to put into your pantry it's what you want to have to eat and it's how you want to store it you got to make sure that you can store it in a cool dry dark place on certain items and this way here you're going to get the most out of your products and you're going to get the most out of your money because it's your hard-earned money that you are spending to do these preps and to be ready so until next time here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, I thank you for joining me today. You all stay safe, keep prepping, thrive to survive, and I will catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.